Hi guys, in this video, we are going to learn Japanese. Wow! In the lingo there, of course. I cannot move on from this app. It is so good. Because even though I'm lazy, I am still remember 50% of the thing that I already learned. Yeah. Okay, first of all, today we are going to learn the nationality learning tips. As usual, we read it. Even I don't remember all of the alphabet. Not all. We just remember A I U E O Kaki Kukeko. Desu. That's all. But it's okay. In this language, in this app, we have the romanization so we can learn a bit more easier than if we don't have it. Okay, first of all, we going to learn and one uh, what is this wa and two desu okay as then reading category of japanese word sentence structure in japanese japanese particle first of all and i think is going to be known known knowns the simple basic declaration sentence structure in the japanese known one and known two wa watashi wa jukokujin desu ka desu jukokujin desu i am chinese and watashi wa nihonjin desu japanese <laughs> i just read the romanization romanization oh my god i already forgot romanization is it is it is it right i don't know okay watashi wa America Jin Ha Ha is topic marking particles in the Japanese is usually for all and known. Its purpose is to introduce the topic of the sentence. Then the nouns by ha is focus of the sentence. Wa. And then when it is used as a topic particle, it's not pronounced as ha but wa. Watashi wa. No, watashi ha. Okay, you know what I mean? And then desu. Desu is like part of the sentence. It's declare of the state of being of the subject. No. Number one. Can be interpreted to be. Or oh, is this like grammar things? Okay, grammar things. To the end of the Japanese declaration sentence. Okay, number two, we are going to learn about is not in. Like, I'm not Japanese. Watashi wa. Like, for example, this is watashi wa. Nihonjin. Nihonjin, the no no two. De wa arimasen. Okay. It is the negative form. So of previous explanation. Dewa arimasen is the negative of this. Okay, dewa arimasen. Watashi wa? Dewa arimasen. It's also be pronounced as wa, it's not ha. Okay? Jarimasen. 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 It's like more casual style of speech. Maybe. Oh, this one. Watashi wa America Jin da arimasen. Watashi wa Jukoku Jin desu. Ah, no. Watashi wa Jukoku Jin dewa arimasen. Okay. We got kanji here. We got hiragana. We got katakana. Katakana. I, I, this one, I think. Yeah, katakana. 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 Alphabet is a little bit sharper from my view from my understanding no one tell me about it but the way i want to like ah in hiragana it's more curvy style katakana is more like sharp have like you know sharp yeah watashi wa nihonjin de wa arimasen 
I'm not Japanese. 私はアメリカ人じゃありません。じゃありません。ではありません。じゃありません。じゃありません。Standard reading. The, the, there is a category of Japanese word. By looking of the origin of the word in the Japanese, Japanese words can be divided to three groups. Wa go, kan go, gai rai go. Gai rai go, ato, gai rai go. Gairaiko. Because Japanese is Japanese alphabet is like dividing things like when we are we saying something is it is like pop 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 the the sound is like that pop 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 it's like uh when we are saying Where is it? Like this. Benkyo. Benkyo shimas. Benkyo shimas. Atashi wa nihonji o benkyo shimas. You know? Like pop, 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 pop. Something like that. From my understanding. Wago is origin from the traditional Japanese language. It is have its own pronunciation. And it is more to kanji. Wago kanji, wago kanji, okay? The traditional one, kanji. Jap uh, Korean also like that. The Japanese, the traditional one is also kanji. A lot of kanji. Kango word started with a period around of 5th to 6th century as a result of the cultural influence from the ancient China. From the Chinese character. Okay? Garai Gairaiko was developed mainly under the influence of Western. Okay, the, this is kanji, wago kanji, kango, 5th to 6th century um, from the Chinese character. And then, garaiko is from the Western language, also known as katakana. Okay, like this one, watashi wago. Nihonjin Kango, like this one. And then Garaiko Katakana. Okay. In Chinese, I is Wo, but not like this one. It's what I should use only in the Japanese, I think. I never seen it in the, in the Chinese as far as I know, as far as I know. Maybe it have this kind of word, but not mean I, another word, I don't know. Okay, two sentence structure in Japanese. The word order of the Japanese sentence is different from the one English speaker as families with. Instead of subject, verb, object, Japanese is Subject, object, verb. I think it's maybe similar with the with the Korean. Subject, object, verb. Yeah, similar with the Korean. Like if Korean, 저는 한국을 한국어를 배웁니다. I'm studying Korean. I'm Korean study. 한국어를 배웁니다. Okay, like Japanese. 私は 日本人 勉強しま勉強します勉強します私は日本語日本語勉強しますそう uh, so it's 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 a bonus for me because I already <laughs> learned Jap Japanese in the Malay aku belajar Jepun aku belajar bahasa Jepun It's similar with the English. Aku, I, belajar, study, learn, bahasa Jepun, Japanese language. Okay, Japanese particles. The key to learn Japanese is mastery the particles. So, we need to focus on the particles more than the other things. I think so. <laughs> I, I don't really... I don't really like grammar actually, but it's just 
because I already know some phrases in the Japanese when we are watching Japanese drama, Japanese movies. So we need to learn grammar now. The Japanese language relies heavily on the particle. They connect both together to form a complete sentence. The sentence would not make sense by simply stacking words. Basically, every word needs to be followed by a particle to indicate what role the word play in the sentence. For example, Watashi wa Nihon Nihon Go Benkyo Shimas I learn Japanese. Watashi wa stop it. Nihon Nihon Go is object. Some English translation is international intentionally unnatural. That's all for today, guys. See you on the next lesson. See you tomorrow. I love you guys. For the... We'll see you tomorrow for... Lesson part. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. Bye.